As we've recently shared, we are officially expecting our first child. So we thought we'd take the airwaves and offer some very unsolicited righteous parenting advice. That's right, my sperm can swim. What's more, many people unintentionally screw their children up with their parenting. And that's not good parenting. To be a good parent, you'll wanna intentionally screw your child up so you don't accidentally unintentionally screw them up. Here's how. Nice wrinkled shirt, you slob. Thank you, dear. Get on the opposite page with controversial issues. Like vaccinating, this ensures there's always tension between you and your partner that you both associate with your child. And this will help your child feel like it's their fault anytime they sense tension between you and your partner, which is often. She doesn't want to vaccinate our child. You say that like it's a bad thing. People have no idea what's in vaccines. I am not letting them put that in our baby. She wants them to get polio. We're not vaccinating. I guess that means we agree. Do the opposite of what you didn't like about your parents. Because you're childish, you still hold on to resentment towards your parents for what they did to you. So take a look at what your parents did wrong and then make a vow to do the opposite to your child. For example, if your parents were overbearing and restrictive, then you can vow to never place restrictions on your child so they will always be free. You'll have no idea that you're putting a terrible burden on your child by not enforcing boundaries. And instead of being guided by your heart to find the balance that's right for your child, just mindlessly go to the opposite extreme that your parents went to. And as your child grows, it'll help them resent you just as much as you resented your parents, just for different reasons. Live your dreams through your child. You used to have dreams, but because life got in the way, but mostly because you're a spineless coward, you never went after them. That's not a problem, because as soon as the afterbirth dries, you'll have a perfectly formed surrogate to go after your dreams for you. Like if you always wanted to be someone who contributed to the greater good of the world, but you never went for it because of your fear of rejection, then your child becomes your indentured servant to deliver that importance to you. Make solid plans for your child to become a doctor, excel at sports, or become a performer or all three if you're feeling really empty inside. And I do. Some people believe the purpose of a child's life is for them to live their life. That's not only bad parenting, that's practically hate speech. You'll need to be committed to consistently reinforcing your dreams into the child and punishing them with disapproval anytime their dreams accidentally get in the way of them living out your dreams. Hold your marriage together with your child. We've had terrible struggles in our relationship, but the self-righteousness that we both have that's mostly hers has kept us from dealing with it. I despise you. But with the excitement of our child on the way, we are completely distracted from our undealt with issues to the point that we're convinced our issues are gone. You couldn't be more condescending. And once our child arrives, we'll transfer the distraction onto our kid for the next 18 years, using him as the glue to hold us together. And then once he leaves home, one of us will probably start having an affair as a way of continuing to distract us from our issues. Make your lives revolve around your child. Instead of you and your partner living your lives with your child as part of them, you wanna let your child become the center of your universe, forming everything that you do around your child. This instills into your young child a healthy level of control over the whole family. Just like how it would be wrong to have your child ride as the passenger in your car, they should be steering everything the entire family does. This is ideal for them because they're just a child. And it's ideal for you because it allows you to become even more passive in your own life. Protect your child from all adversity. Helicopter parenting doesn't require a pilot's license, it just requires a fear-based style of parenting that you mistake as caring. As common wisdom has it, adversity is necessary for strength, but adversity is uncomfortable. So protecting your child from all physical and psychological adversity means you're producing a weak water bag of a human who's also comfortable. There's nobody to protect your child from your overprotection. But that's okay, because you have no idea you're doing this. Because our child isn't born yet, we haven't had a chance to do any actual parenting, which makes us fully qualified to tell you how to parent. So we hope you've learned a lot today. Enjoy taking your parenting destiny under control and ensuring you intentionally screw your child up to the best of your ability. We're JP and I'm Amber. I'm doing the closing here. We're JP and Amber. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to leave us a warm, loving, angry comment below. I think that went pretty well. You're not a real man. You're not exactly a goddess yourself, princess.
you don't have to be stuck wearing unenlightened shirts anymore because based on studies that have not taken place on the physical plane, awakened shirts provide you with more enlightenment than meditating while on free range magic mushrooms. They give you more spiritual protection than smudging with pure Colombian grade A biodynamic sage. More purification than a sweat lodge, just with no heat, sweat, or lodge. More guidance than a tarot card that tells you how to live your life. More essentialness than all your essential oils combined. More spiritual superpowers than crystals that don't do anything. And more wokeness than a virtue signaling gold medal winning social justice warrior. Awaken shirts will also protect you from bad style, being naked, and negative entities. Tell them, Ryan. I don't think I have any negative entities. I'm definitely not naked. Exactly. They're even clinically proven to make your dog love you more. Awaken shirts are never factory farmed and are always gluten-free, hormone-free, GMO-free, grass-fed, vegan-friendly, keto-friendly, paleo-fluid, gender-neutral, bathroom-friendly, and all-inclusive. If you want to elevate the consciousness of your style, then join the Awaken movement by grabbing your Awaken shirt today. Just go to awakenwithjp.com shop. Enjoy being enlightened.